Adjuster Frank just making a quick video of my system. I had a couple things going on. I wanted to um, get some responses and comments from my subs. Um, I have put our yellow tang bubbles into the system. I did that yesterday. When I was getting the snails and the hermits out, he was getting kind of stressed. Um, I figured my water quality has been the same for three days, so I didn't want to stress him out again um, having to move them. So I just did it all at once after I did the snails. Um, cleanup crew is doing a good job taking care of a lot of the algae. Um, I have uh, kept the lights off a little bit longer also so that way that'll keep down on um, some of the lighting for the algae. And a couple things I have going on on this rock structure here. Um, I have what I think is red bubble algae and I'm not sure. I've looked it up online. It looks like that's what it is. I just wanted to um, have some people comment and see it exactly if that if that is <laughs> what it is. Um, if so, uh, is it correct that what I've read is you have to try to pick it out of there and suck it out without it breaking up any spores? Um, I have some more over here on this rock. It's way back near that uh, near the leaves. Um, I mean, those things look like they're ready to explode. So. That was one thing I had going on. Um, another thing is the snails here, they are chomping at, and this might be hard to see in the light, they're chomping at the coralline algae, and there's some of uh, the coralline algae in the sand. Um, so I can imagine that's going to be spreading here at some point, because uh, they're grinding away at that. Um, one other thing is, I know what these are. These are uh, these yellowish cream, I don't know, whatever color they are here. These are curly Q um, anemone aptasias. Now, from what I read, these are not the same aptasias um, that are as the pest aptasias, but however, they are spreading throughout different rocks. Um, they are growing tremendously. There's a bunch of cluster down there. Um, way in the back, there's another one back in there. And on this side, I thought there was some, I can't remember where. Uh, um, exactly but so they're everywhere and I was wondering if anything should I do with those um, leave them alone or try to uh, get rid of them um, one thing over here I think that's an orange sponge growing over there underneath this rock I'm not a hundred percent sure but um, looks like that might be some type of sponge that's pretty cool so the last thing is uh, my sand bed um, the snails have dug up the sand bed quite a bit right in here. It's not very smooth anymore. Um, down in the back, way back in there, that's dipped down quite a bit back there, and I think it is um, less than four inches. Um, down in this cave over here, down in there, that's I think a little less than four inches. And maybe I can get down here, see how that is? This is four inches to here and to here, um, but down in there is not so uh, I was wondering if that's a concern and I need to go buy another bag of sand and put that in the bottom of the sand bed so those were the few things that are going on with the tank this is a short update and please rate and comment I'm looking forward to the comments and to uh, people's advice on this one um, so that's about it until next time later